Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about extrinsic pathway of apoptosis. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So we have seen in the previous video of apoptosis that extrinsic pathway of a cell occurs when a cell, suppose this is the cell, in this cell, a stress is going on. An internal stress is going on in the particular cell. But this particular cell cannot sense its stress itself. Another cell will sense the stress that is occurring inside the target cell. So this is the target cell. And this cell will understand the stress is going on inside the target cell and it will release some substances. And these substances will send signal to this target cell so that this target cell undergoes apoptosis. Now extrinsic pathway occurs via two signaling processes. One is TNF induced, another is FAS induced based on the ligand and receptor. So first we will talk about TNF induced signaling. So here we can see that this is the target cell and this is the plasma membrane of the target cell. This cell is suffering from a particular stress. So this cell needs to undergo apoptosis. Now here we can see this is another cell. These cells are immune cells. So the immune cell can sense the stress of this target cell. This immune cell will secrete TNF, tumor necrosis factor. This TNF will bind to the target cell. And where it will bind? In this target cell plasma membrane, it has TNF R1, that is tumor necrosis factor receptor. In this receptor, this TNF will bind. And along with the receptor, FAD, TRAD and PROCASPAS8, these three proteins will also bind this complex. So this is the complex which is having TNF that is ligand here, TNFR that is the receptor, FAD, TRAD and PROCASPAS8, these are in the cytosolic part. Procaspase 8 is the initiator caspase because it initiates the downstream breakdown of proteins. Now this Procaspase 8 is named Pro because it is inactive. When it is bound with the complex, it will be activated and now it is caspase 8. So particular part of this Procaspase 8 will be cleaved and this is now activated which is now Caspase 8. So this Caspase 8 will bind executional Caspase that is also now in the inactivated form. When executional Caspase binds Caspase 8 it will become activated. This executional Caspase will break down downstream proteins and will continue apoptosis. So next signaling is fast induced signaling. So the mechanism of apoptosis is almost same here, just the ligand is different. So this is the target cell which is undergoing a particular stress 
and this is the cell this is the immune cell which can sense the stress that is undergoing in the target cell so this immune cell will secrete the ligand that is fas in this case instead of tnf and this fas is the ligand which will bind fas receptor that is embedded in the plasma membrane of the target cell along with fas r fat and procaspase 8 will also bind here these two are cytoplasmic proteins and procaspase is in the inactivated form so when it is in this complex procaspase 8 will be activated and it will become caspase 8 so it will bind executioner caspase which is now also in the inactivated form when executioner caspase binds caspase 8 it will become activated and when it is activated it will cleave downstream proteins and it will continue the apoptosis process.